What I do know is that Bragg hates Trump and is using his office to punish Trump. And I know that, but what he said in the past, go. I'm the candidate in the race who has the experience with, with Donald Trump. I was the chief deputy in the attorney general's office. We sued the Trump administration over a hundred times uh, for the Muslim travel ban, for family separation at the border, for shen shenanigans with the census. Uh, so I know how to, to litigate uh, with him. I also led the team that did the Trump Foundation case. So uh, I'm ready to go wherever the facts take me and to inherit that case. And I think, you know, it'd be hard to argue with the fact that that's, that'd be the most important, uh, most high profile case. Uh, and I've seen him up front and seen the lawlessness that he can do. All right. So this is the guy. He's already convicted Trump. Even though Trump has not been convicted of anything, this guy's already convicted him. Due process? Bye. No more due process in this country. So Bragg should have recused himself from all this based upon his past statements. Okay? He's not coming in with a presumption of innocence. Remember, that's what our justice system is based on, a presumption of innocence. You think Bragg is giving Trump the presumption of innocence after saying that? Come on. It's absurd. And I don't know about Trump's lawyers, but that'd be case number one I'd throw up to get the thing thrown out. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.